Good afternoon Carpologists and welcome back to the channel. Now if you happen to be in the market for a new pod, the guys over at Sonic may just have exactly what you're looking for. They've sent me over their full range of extractor pods so that I can go through with you guys in detail exactly what you get when you open the packet. Let's go down into my swim, take a quick look. Okay, so here we go. This is the Extractor 2 rod pod. First things first, they're made out of an extremely strong and lightweight aluminium and coated in a, a nice anodized black finish. The finish is very good. It doesn't chip off. It doesn't seem to scratch off easily. So I don't think you guys will have any problem with that. It certainly won't look untidy after just a few months of use. The centre bar on the two rod extractor pod and also the three rod extractor pod is fully adjustable. That means you can use it for 6, 9, 10, 12 or 13 foot rods, whatever takes fancy. These are 12 foot rods, these are the Dominator XRSs. As you can see I've got some big pit reels on there as well and there's plenty of room to give the stability and obviously room to clip your bobbins on, no problems whatsoever. All of the uprights work on a cam lock mechanism, so that's extremely easy to use. Literally flick the cam lock open, adjust the bar, flick it back down, and it holds it in place, job done. Now, obviously we can't leave it like that because everybody knows you can't catch fish with wonky rods. One other thing I should mention to you guys is the multi-adjustable feet that are around the base of the pod. Now, they can be set at lots of different angles to enable you to basically maximise purchase on the floor. The last thing you want happening is that pod flying forward when you get a take. Also included in the box is a nice padded case. It's got Velcro straps to make sure that everything is nice and secure during transport. There's plenty of room for your alarms and hangers in there also, so there's no carrying multiple bags, which is always a good thing. So you may be thinking to yourself, Ian, you've just shown me another pod, which is exactly the same as all the others on the market. Now, in some respects, that's, that's correct. Yes, it does hold a set of rods. Um, however, this one has got a massive amount of customizable sort of setups. So you can use it as it is, like a pod. You can use it as a single setup. You can use it as a buzz bar setup, and you can also use it as a goalpost setup. So you can literally take this pod absolutely anywhere, and you will always be able to get your setup stable, secure and most importantly level <laughs> okay so i thought i'd take a quick moment just to show you guys how quick and easy these are to actually set up obviously my alarms and butt rests are already screwed onto the pod most people will do that at home anyway so it's not like i'm trying to get an unfair advantage on you guys let's have a quick look so <clears throat> obviously first things first undo the carry bag I'll tell you what that's the box it comes in let's get rid of that for the moment uh, so first things first, like I said, unzip the carry bag. We'll just remove this centre pile like that. We'll get the two end sections. There's a lot of Velcro holding it all in. Like I said earlier, it's good for keeping it nice and secure while transporting. And then it is literally a case of screwing on these little bits like that, tightening them up. These are the angled feet that we spoke about earlier. So you literally tighten up them to roughly where you want them, like so. Let's get the other one out. Another bit of Velcro. Let's tighten that up. Tighten that up. Get it to the angle you want and just lock it in place. Like so. So they're the two end sections done. They're ready to go onto the pod. With those, it's literally a case of just literally slotting it in. It's got a recess cut machined into it, so you uh, you can't possibly get it wrong. And then there's just a knurled locking screw at the end. Tighten that down, job done. It's obviously, same again the other side. Like that. So there's your basic pod sort of together. Extend that centre bar to what's suitable for the rod length that you're using. And then it's literally quite simple. Open the cam locks, slide your alarms in. Both of them. Same again on the back. Open the cam locks, slide your butt rests in. And there you have it. The pod's ready to go, nice and stable. One thing I should also mention is that the three rod version of this goes up exactly the same way. It takes a split second longer because you've got the extra 
pole in the middle to deal with. But yeah, other than that, exactly the same. Okay, so you guys have seen how easy it was to set up the pod. I thought I'd take a quick moment to show you the singles type setup. Basically, I've dismantled the pod entirely, removed the angled feet sections off the bottom of these buzz bar type bits, and put the locking collars back on. You don't have to put the locking collars back on, they're not actually doing anything other than protecting the threads. I just don't like the idea of dirt and grit getting onto those threaded sections so that when you want to put it back together, it could make it a little bit awkward. Um, anyway, like we were saying, so section like that. Just literally slide that into your centre bar, into that pre sort of machine slot that that fits into and tighten up the locking collar, nice and straightforward so far. Take one of the angled leg sections, that just screws onto the bottom there, like so. You've almost got your single set up ready to go. Basically, repeat again on the other end. You can see how quick and easy it is. Screw that on there and there we go. That's your single set up ready to go into the ground providing you're not in the middle of the summer and the ground's not like concrete, in which case you'd definitely be leaving it in its pod mode. Okay, so last but not least, we have the buzz bar set up. Basically what I've done here is completely stripped down the pod and then screwed the alarms into the buzz bar type section as you would any other set of buzz bars. Take one of the uprights from the pod, screw that into there, and what that does is you've got your cam lock height adjustable section then in the middle and then you take one of the angled feet points, screw that onto there and you get a nice tapered pointed bank stick. That will aid you getting it into the ground when it's a little bit harder. Um, and there you have it, there's your buzz bar setup. To transform that into a goalpost setup, just remove the locking nuts on either end, like so. And then uh, obviously repeat the process with that center stick and move them to the outsides. So as you may have noticed earlier, I did say that Sonic had supplied me with their complete range of extractor pods. Uh, obviously that includes the two and three rod extractor pods that we spoke about earlier. It also includes a two and a three rod version of this, which is the tripods. Now basically what these entail is a buzz bar with flexible hinges on it to enable you to set up in a tripod fashion, not needing any backrests. The extractor tripod is also made from the same lightweight but durable aluminium tubing. It has the same black hard anodized finish, so that isn't gonna get scratched up and look tatty. It's extremely lightweight and packs down to absolutely nothing. So I can see no reason whatsoever that either the mobile angler or like I said, the river angler wouldn't absolutely love to have one of these in their bag. You can actually adjust the angle on the buzz bar hinges and use them as a standard buzz bar. You don't have to use it in the tripod setup. The full range, all of the pods, come with black locking collars to enable you to line up your alarms and butt rest accordingly. So there you have it, guys. There's a pod for every single scenario. Let us know in the comments which one might be for you. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that bell notification icon. That way you won't miss the latest videos from Carpology. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.